Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your WordPress data using WP All Export and automatically send that data to your Google Drive using Zapier. I'm going to select products from the drop down here, but you can export any data you'd like. Go ahead and continue. And on this page, you can change the data that's being exported. You can remove things, add things. You can have as much or as little data as you want. Over on the right is where you would drag over additional data to be included. But for this example, I'm going to leave the default data here. And down here, we can change export file options. So if you wanted to export an XLS instead, so we could do this. Just click here. You could also export an XML feed. We're going to continue and export an XLS. And here you have some more options, only export products once, things like this, but we're just going to leave this default. We are going to give it a friendly name though, say products export. That way if we happen to want to set up a filter later on Zapier so that our Zap only runs for this particular export, we'll reference that friendly name. Okay, now let's head over to Zapier and make a new Zap. We're going to choose WP All Export Pro as the trigger app. Go ahead and continue through this. We need to connect a new account because that's not the account that we're going to use here. So connect a new account and we're going to need the URL for our website. So we'll copy this over. And our API key is going to be on the settings page under All Export. Scroll down here. Oh, I think I did that twice. There we go. Continue. That's good. Now let's continue. We just created an export, so we're set here. Fetch and continue. Okay, now our action app. So we're going to send this to Google Drive, so let's type up here. There it is and we want to upload the file so we'll continue I need to connect my Google Drive account allow pretty simple continue alright here you can select a folder to place it in if you'd like uh, the file is going to be the export file URL and here's some other optional things you can do but we're just gonna leave them all default and continue I'm gonna skip the test here and name the zap and go ahead and turn it on okay so here's my Google Drive it's currently empty I'm gonna go over here to manage exports and run that export again run it and now we should see this pop up in the Google Drive all done so we'll refresh over here and there it is okay so now how do we schedule this to run automatically well if you go over here to manage exports you can go to cron scheduling on the right of your export so on this page you'll find the URLs that you need to set up on cron jobs. You can usually set up cron jobs with your web host, but if they can't, then you can use an external service like EasyCron. So the trigger script is what you'll set to run as often as you'd like the export to run. So if you wanted to send this file to your Google Drive once per day, then you'd set it up to run once per 24 hours. If you wanted it to run weekly, then you would set it up to run once per week. The execution script or processing script is what will finish the export. So you'll want to run that every two minutes. We have more information on cron jobs at wplimport.com. Thank you for watching.